Hey, what's up, guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you week five for APA Academy versus Gray. Uh, currently, we're both undefeated, so it's going to be a pretty interesting match, I'm sure. It's going to be pretty high caliber and close to the finish, hopefully. Uh, before I get into the build, make sure you guys like the video if you support my content and maybe give a subscription. I definitely appreciate it. So uh, we're both undefeated. I think I have the best differential at this point. Uh, so I do kind of want to hold back maybe some sets at this point because I figure we might be facing off in playoffs. Um, so I wanted to throw out a pretty fun team that I feel like can still definitely win this game. So it's going to be centered around trying to get Dragapult more kills. So I do want to get more for it this season, ideally. Um, so Gray's team from most to least threatening would be Excadrill. Um, just because I really don't have switch-ins into this, I guess Gastrodon can do that, but I'll get to it KO'd if I'm life orb. So that's definitely problematic. And he has uh, Tyranitar to uh, help out with that. Uh, Rotom Wash would be next. It's pretty... Rotomosh is just annoying to deal with. Like, it's not going to win a game. Nasty Plot's not going to win just because Zeroar and Dragapult revenge killed too easily. Obstagoon as well. Rose Raid as well. <laughs> it's a lot of things revenge, but it's kind of annoying to take hits from it. And King Bolt switch pretty easily outside of Gastrodon, but there is a chance that he could be, like, ring target. And that'd be very annoying, especially because if I'm ring target, I won't be getting leftovers recovery. And then the uh, Excadrill will be even more problematic because I won't have leftovers. Aromatease, pretty solid to handle the Dragapult. So I would expect that to come. Um, Tyranitar, as I said before, Sand, I think, comes for Excadrill because Excadrill and Sand is super, super annoying for my team. I do not take it on well at all. Uh, so it also kind of takes on Dragapult because Dragapult is usually more special attacking base. So Tyranitar is a lot of special defense thanks to uh, Sandstream. Uh, Celebi. It's faster than everything except for the Dragapult and Zara Aura. So like an offensive set can be kind of annoying, but I feel like I have checks to that. Uh, but I still feel like it probably comes. Uh, Garboder, just because it's the G-Max Mon, honestly, and Toxic Spikes are enough justification that it comes um, as like a six member. Uh, Galissapod, very nice priority. Revenge kill a Dragapult or Zara Aura that's like maybe potentially set up with a priority. Um... Chandelure outspeeds my team if it's scarfed, so I definitely don't want to take hits. I mean, if it's like Shadow Ball, then Obstagoon takes on pretty well. Fire Blast. I have like Mammo, Gastrodon. I have stuff that can take it on. Uh, specs would be very problematic, though. Um, unless, again, if it locks into the wrong move. And Colossal also takes on pretty well. So I could see Chandelure not coming, but I think it has a pretty solid matchup if it does. Um, Greedon. It's a normal type, so it could take Shadow Balls from Dragapult. So it's kind of hard for me to uh, bring choice specs in that regard. Noivern, not going to come. And Choke, I'm pretty confident it's not going to come. So um, again, I'm trying to center this team around trying to get a lot of kills for Dragapult. But I feel like Amon, it just matches up very well in this matchup. It's going to be the Obstagoon, so I am going to bring it. Uh, not speed to add speed the Excadrill. Uh, because I don't outspeed the Celebi. That's what it is. But I will be outspeeding Excadrill, Rotom Wash, Chandelure, unless they're uh, scarfed, obviously. Uh, facade knockoff close combat. Honestly, no switching. Um, everything gets two KO'd on the team. So even, I think, Garboder, unless it's like max defensive, G Max will take two. And that could have a fighting coverage. So I do have to watch out for that. Obstruct just guarantees that I'll be able to get my Flame more buff if it comes to it. Um, the next Pokemon, as I said, we're going to build this team around Weakness Policy, Dragon Dance, Dragapult. So this seems pretty strange. Um, basically max HP just to take as many hits as possible. And basically max attack. Um, Phantom Force is there to hit the Aromatisse, which I don't really hit that hard otherwise. I could run Steel Ring, which does slightly more damage. It doesn't do that much more damage, but I feel like... Um, it overall has better coverage against this team. Um, but Dragon Darts is pretty spammable. And Phantom Force, that's why. Phantom Force hits uh, Excadrill a lot harder than like a Steel Wing or Dragon Darts would. Um, Protect is there in case it's Glissopod priority. Uh, really the only reason. Uh, and I will be basing this around Screenge, which you'll be seeing later. Uh, so next we got a Zara Orb, just a pretty solid physical attacker here. Plasma Fist. 
um, Life Orb Adamant can 2 a KO Ronan Wash. Well, it will 2 a KO after Rocks. So even if it's physically defensive. So that's very clutch. Knock close combat, obviously, for Excadrill T Tar. Knock off the hit the Celebi. Knock off into Fire Punch should kill Celebi after Rocks. Um, it could take two knockoffs, but Fire Punch should be doing enough extra damage that I should be able to pick up the knock up there. Um, knockoff also hits the Chandelure nicely. Um, don't really hit the Greedon, I suppose, if it's fits or I do it the Greedon, not the Machoke, if it's physically defensive. And I guess Aromatisse, if it's physically defensive, can probably take hits, um, but not too well. Uh, but potentially might be able to take two after Wish protects and such. Um, next book when I have is Gastrodon. I feel like I need this for the Escadrill. Uh, Scald, Recover, Protect, Toxic. Toxic is really only there for the Celebi, Road and Wash if they want to switch in. Don't really see the Noivern coming. Uh, I don't hit the Garbodor, but I would switch out anyway on the Garbodor because it could run grass coverage. So um, I'll have to work around that. Uh, I do have a Mon I can kind of take on Garbodor pretty well. Uh, but Protect is there just in case it is like a Life Orb Excadrill. I don't imagine he would predict me to have protect and like go for a sword stance there or something. That would be absolutely nuts if that happened. Um, but if it does, I, I guess I'll have to figure out a way to revenge kill it. Uh, so that's Gasher on here, basically for the Escadrill. Um, I'm going to throw screens on this team. And the only three mods on this team that can dual screen are Mamoswine, Togekiss, and Rotom Frost. A lot of them had their pros and cons, and I decided to go... I debated about these two mods for a little bit, but I decided to go Mamoswine. Um, problem with Mamoswine is that Rotom Wash just comes in and defogs on this for pretty much free. Because Rotom Wash is a, one of the best counters to Mamoswine, because I really don't touch it that hard. I guess like a Choice Banded Stone Edge or Knockoff would be doing okay damage, but probably not to a KO type range. More of one, I don't think even like a Mac Special Attack Freeze Dry set would be doing that much to physically defensive Rotom. Um, but Stealth Rock, Light Screen, Reflect, Earthquake. This allows me to actually take an Iron Head from Excadrill from full HP and kill it Earthquake. So that's definitely clutch. And an Earthquake would be there over, I guess, like Toxic for the Ronin Wash. I figured like killing Excadrill would be worth it. Because I don't think you would expect me to be able to live an Iron Head from an Excadrill. Um, so we'll see how this set works. And the last Pokemon, just because um, Ronin Wash is a pretty hard counter to this. And if he is... Uh, trick ring target then that's pretty problematic for uh, gastrodon so i wanted another switch in into rotom so i went with uh roserade uh sleep powder just really clutch on this mon spike sludge bomb energy bomb uh, energy ball i don't really expect to recover too much hp in general just because of the tranitar sand will be kind of neutering roserade but i should be doing i think i do a ko the uh, tyranitar if it's like a faster spread um, with energy ball after rocks um if it's bulkier then i don't but obviously i would add speed and i'm um, get a sleep pattern on it um the speed again is to hit the excadrill um i believe i also take an earthquake from the excadrill um after rocks with my defense investment uh and the rest in the special attack to deal a little bit more damage to it um so that's my team let's get right into the game uh first turn uh, I led with Mamoswine, hopefully get Rocks up, but he led with the Rotom. So I figured I had the switch, so it made sense to go into Rosary, because Rosary is always my intern in the Rotom Wash. And I predict, I mean, he goes for the Toxic, so that's best case scenario for me that I get this in for free. I can either go for Sleep Powder, Spike, anything really is going to be pretty helpful. Um, so Toxic on Rotom. Uh, what does switch into this? Chandelure potentially if he's Scarfed. Um, I think I can just go for Sleep Powder and then get a Spike up. So I'm going to do that. Shen Lord is a switch in. I miss Sleep Powder yet again. Um, oh boy, that's pretty unfortunate. So let's see, Chandelure. Joy Scarf. Level 50. It's annoying that these battles are level 50. Um, Fire Blast kills. Um, especially because I have no HP investment. Um, yeah, it seems like I have a missing sleep pattern every week. Um, don't want to go into Dragapult. Zero or is risky. Gastrodon is meh. Um, Fire Blast is going to do a crab ton of Obstagoon and Mamoswine. 
I need to get a, at least a reflect up. And or a light, I mean, a, or a, a light screen. Um, I guess Gastrodon can still be an answer, the Chandelure. Um, this is gonna be Scarf though, and he's gonna go for the Fire Blast. How much is that gonna do it to? Amoswine, Choice Scarf. I'm Thick Fat. He kills, or close to kills. That is just insane, the damage from the Chandelure. Oh my gosh. Um, I could also go Gastrodon. Um, but then I don't have an Earthquake answer. Um, if he's Scarfed, he's gonna go for the Fire Blast. I get that at least fine there. Um, Fire Blast does, let's see the damage. Gastrodon, Chandelure, Fire Blast does. Damage where it could be Scarfed. Um, not even modest. So I'm pretty sure this is Scarf. Um, Chandelure. Um, I could go for Protect or just go into Obstagoon if he's some substitute setter or whatever. I'm gonna go into Obstagoon and get my uh, Toxic Orb up. That's pretty clutch. Or um, my Flame Orb up. So let's see. Uh, we got Obstagoon to Celebi. Level 50. I mean, I basically kill with knockoff, and he really doesn't have a switch in for me going for a knockoff here. So that's what I'm going to go for. All right. He is really fast. Um, Celebi. Uh, man, I should have should have predicted that. All right. So Celebi. Kills Obstagoon with Aura's Fear. Dragapult. Dragon darts to a uh, Greedent. Hmm. Let's see how much Tranitar Crunch does. Max attack. To Dragapult, even if I'm plus one, I don't kill. I need to get some chip damage off. Uh, he could be, uh, he could even not be Scarfed. That's definitely a possibility too. Um, but I'm gonna get a spike up. All right, he isn't Scarfed. But I do barely live this and get a spike up. Okay. That helps a little bit. Hmm. Do I go into Zara Aura? It's good to know that he's not scarfed. Hmm. He could be a Dazzling Gleam on this. Celebi. Let me see the damage with Psychic to uh, Rose Raid. Level 50, max special attack. He might have just gotten a min roll there, honestly. Um, Dragapult, Dazzling Gleam. Does a lot. Um, does Mammoth Swine live a energy ball? There's a chance it doesn't. Oh man, the Celebi is definitely gonna be a pain. Yeah, I think I just have to let him knock me out here. No, I need an answer for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Rotom. Going to a zero or okay. That's good. I don't take many much damage there, at least. I'm pretty free to just knock off here. Let me see. Man, this LB really caught me off guard. Psychic. Yeah, it looks like it's just timid. Knock off is doing a crap ton to this. 
Culberberry. See if he knocks me out here. Uh, it does not, so that's pretty clutch. We could recover here. Knock off. Let's see. Knock off. It does a 38% damage, Culberberry. Is he max HP? Um, he looks like it could, hmm. Maybe it's not as much special attack investment. Let's see, Psychic. Yeah, he could be, um, not much special attack investment and a lot of bulk. Fire Punch does a little bit more. Let's see if this kills. Okay. So we kill that. Oh, man. I uh, traded basically two for three for one there. Uh, not a great start. The Celebi's down, I guess. So. So, how is Dragapult gonna set up? I think I still have to go into Mamoswine here. And get a light screen up. If I can get the plus three. Well, I need to get... I need to get two Dragon Dances up to win. And then get a plus four, because otherwise I won't be out speeding the Excadrill. And Gastrodon is, it's already weakened. Yeah, Mammoth wants to play here. Yeah, I imagine a green in is just a special, or just a normal type to take a, like a spec shadow ball, if I were that set, or just to take on any type of Dragapult, I suppose. Let me see what, um, on my side screen over here, what a uh, coverage creed and gets 95 attack. It gets crunch, ice fang, driver ball. It'll be doing a little bit of damage to me. Green and belly drum here set up a reflect C bomb's gonna do nothing and go for the light screen light screen is hmm Reflect is more important. Rotom could be a switch in and defog. That also seems pretty risky for him. But at that point, if he goes into Rotom, well, I, uh, what? I light screen and he goes into Rotom, then I go into Dragapult, he defogs. And then, hmm, it's not a great position. I guess regardless, he can Volt switch. Yeah, Reflect is up is pretty important. I think I go into Dragapult here. And I go for a Dragon Dance. Tyranitar comes in, crunches. I get another Dragon Dance up. And Dragapult. Tyranitar. If he's like choice banded. Reflect up. We'll be doing a crap ton of damage. I gotta go into it. Okay. I'm fine with this. Dragon Dance up. I'm not gonna even kill. That sucks. All right, I think I lose this. Hmm.
We're going to Mammoth Swine here and maybe try to KO with, uh, with Earthquake. Yeah, it was it was just super risky to go with this strategy. I was 4-0, uh, so I figured I'd just try to throw a little bit of heat my way, especially because uh, Jack could be a uh, playoff opponent. Uh, but definitely that fast sell would be really caught me off guard. I totally forgot that it could get fighting coverage. Um, I mean, I still have a chance to win with Gastron on. It's it's very very small, but he could just assume that he kills me here, and I earthquake. Just try to lower the differential as much as possible. It has Mammoth Swine, Chandelure, 50, Fire Blast, if I'm no HP, uh, Choice Scarf, Fire Blast kills. So maybe with uh, my investment I have a chance to live, so I am going to go for the Earthquake. All right, he makes the right play. Mm -hmm. He could toxic. I'm going to go into my, my Rose Raid though. He goes for sub. It's fine. Greedon is currently asleep right now. Go for an energy ball. Knocks me on Hydro Pump. Can't do anything, and I lose five nothing. Hmm. You could volt switch here. I don't know what he's gonna go for. I just gotta figure out a way to get a little bit of differential. I'm gonna go to Mammoth Swine, I guess, predicting the, the Chandelure. Okay, so. I can set up. A light screen. And then killed us with Earthquake. I'll take a differential if he's going to give it to me. Yeah, I just didn't have an opportunity to set up um, with my Dragapult that game. And max speed Celebi really, really threw me off guard there. Yeah, I'll take a, uh, another differential right there. So it looks like we're going to lose 4 nothing. It's okay. I didn't really show um, a lot of strategies in this game. Because again, because if it's a good record, I imagine it's someone I could be facing in the playoffs. So it's, it, it, I mean, it, it's nice to just go, uh, to go with a really high record all the way. But at the same time, you're kind of revealing some information that you might not want to reveal and then people can go back on previous videos and like the do stuff. Um, I definitely had other game plans for this matchup, but I wanted to try something a little bit fun. And he definitely had a really cool SLV set, cool green and set even. And um, Dragapult just didn't get an opportunity to get the two and that's what I needed. gonna go for like magnet rise or something wrote him sure whatever mm. I don't really get the plays that he's making here maybe yeah I don't really get that I guess I can go Toxic Substitute Hydro Pump. Mm. 
Maybe he wants to catch me going into Gastrodon. I'll go for the Earthquake. He's not going to go for a... Uh, he's not going to go for Hydro Pump. I'll take any... I'll take the Differential if he's going to give it to me. Okay. Earthquake. Hydro Pump, he does go for it. Okay, sure. Seems strange if I could have gone into a Gastrodon, but it works out. I will recover first. Actually, he probably has nothing to hit me. I'll just go for Skull first. And maybe I'll catch something. <laughs> yeah, this endgame's just being a little strange. I feel like it should already been over by now. But I guess he misclicked going for a... not going for sub. Yeah, I don't know what his last move is going to be. But I'm pretty sure I'd take an energy ball from, from Chandelure. Actually, no, I, I'm not. Yeah, Scar Chandelure is definitely a problem in this matchup. Okay. Seems like a weird play, too, because I could have gone for a uh, first goal there, maybe predicting me to go for Protector. Uh, maybe stalling out the uh, toxic damage it's racking up on the on the Rotom. Um, so Earthquake does absolutely nothing. Is it going to pop like a weakness policy? Okay. Some bulk. I can recover up here. I'm going to just go for Scald and get this game done and over with. It's not going to make a difference. And I don't get the burn. So. Um, good game, Jack. Uh. Uh, the Celebi really threw me off guard with being max speed. That was definitely the difference maker. I was way too quick to uh, pick a move there. I built uh, and just didn't. I just forgot about Aura Sphere. I, I considered it making the team, but I forgot about it in the in the interim. So good game, man. Uh, I'll definitely take this. Um, can't reveal everything, but I would definitely take a four or one start to this league. Um, so until next time, later, guys.